What's good YouTube, it's Tech Talk and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be getting into a few of my favorite accessories for the iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. So let's get into it. So the first one I got is a MagSafe charger that I found on Amazon. I'm going to link everything down below in the, in the description. So this is a, a 10,000 milliamp battery and pretty much it has a lot of things that it could do for you. So as you can see, if you have a 12 Pro or higher, you could take advantage of MagSafe. It sticks to the back. Um, this actually charges my phone all the way to full. I think it could do it like one and a half to two times, but I've always used it while I was using it. So I'm not sure how many times it will actually charge it while if like if you weren't using it. So the good thing that it also has, if you don't have wireless charging, you could also just place your phone on top of this and it will charge. But I wouldn't really recommend this specific charger if you don't actually need um if you don't have MagSafe. So if you have a MagSafe case um, by Apple or somebody else third party, you could also use it with the case as well and it sticks the same way. It's just um, as efficient in holding onto the phone. And then you also can do a wired connection too. So it has a USB-C port on the bottom of it. So say for example, if you need to charge something like, I don't know, like if you had like AirPods or something like that that you need to charge or headphones and you only have this with you, you can also plug that in and you can get about, I think 15, it's 15, yeah, so 15 watts wireless and 20 watts are gonna be up to 20 watts. Um, through the also forgot to mention that retails for 32.99. So next we're gonna get into this hub that I found. It's um, by Anchor, it's a USB-C hub. It's really good for people who have like um, a MacBook Pro only with the USB-C ports or an iPad Pro is very convenient with all the ports that it has because you have like your USB port, your HDMI port, you have SD card, micro SD card. There's a bunch of different slots that you could use. There's six ports um, in total. It even has a headphone jack as well, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I use this a lot of times when I'm editing videos and I need to pass photos through to my iPad. I could also do it wirelessly, but it's convenient to also be able to just take the memory stick out and put it in there and do what I need to do. I haven't tested it too much with the headphones because everything I use is wireless, but it's still a, a really good option and it's affordable. It's only um, $49.99. So this next item is probably my most used accessory in terms of like wireless charging and even like wire charging just because it's because of its power and some of the features that it has. So for one, it has a kickstand where you can just prop it up and you can watch a movie or watch a video on YouTube, whatever you're doing, and it will still charge your phone because not only does it have wireless charging, it also has wire charging as well. One of the biggest pros to this for me is the fact that it has a LED on the front that actually displays how much time is left before the battery dies. A lot of like these charger bricks don't have that, so you have to go by like a LED and it's hard to know when your device is going to die or not. So this is good to have and be able to see it. Um, so this is a 20,000 milliamp battery. It promises that it could charge your phone to full three to four times. I would say it charges my phone probably about, yeah, roughly around three to four times. Sometimes I might have my iPad and stuff plugged into it too, depending on where I'm at. And um, yeah, it's just a really good charger. I use it pretty often. I like the fact, like I said, that it has wireless as well as wire charging. You have a, your USB port where you could charge, and then you also have your USB-C port. The USB-C port usually is going to charge um, a little bit faster because you're able to get a little bit more power out of that. But all in all, this is a very good charger, and I would definitely recommend it. And it retails for $49.99. It used to be on Amazon, but I haven't been seeing it there. So I'm going to link um, the link to their direct website in the description below, right? So this could be like the perfect setup for like, you know, if you're like watching a movie, you watch something on YouTube and you're eating or whatever, and you could just have this propped up charging your phone and you could still be able to um, enjoy whatever you're watching and not worry about your phone dying. So I was trying to show you guys how it looks when you're charging wirelessly, but where I'm actually recording this at is kind of at an angle, so the phone kept slipping, but... As you can see, it's able to charge the phone um, even when it's not connected. <laughs> I dropped the phone here, but yeah, it's all good. But yeah, so even if you don't have a wire, you're still going to be good with this uh, with this charger. So next up is a must-have if you have an Apple Watch. So a lot of the times when you're on the go, 
carrying that wire and plug is going to be a little bit annoying. So this is a good option to be able to charge your phone. This is actually by Belkin. And I found this at Best Buy. It retails for $54.99. It promises up to 63 hours of battery life for your for your battery, um, for your watch. I'm not sure how true that is, but this this always works out for me. It saves me. You can keep it by your bedside if you want, but um, I have a stand for that. But I always make sure that I have this when I'm going somewhere and I think that my watch might die. It's just a, a really good charger. It lasts a long time without me having to charge it. So I definitely would recommend it. If you have an Apple Watch, definitely look into getting that. And just let me know what you guys think about some of these things in the comments. Let me know what are your favorite tech accessories. What do you use? What are kind of like your must-haves that, that you have to have in your bag? These are a few of my go-tos, and I look forward to reading the comments and replying with you guys and seeing what are some of your go-tos. I got a few videos coming up, especially on iOS 15. I want to get into that and show you guys some of the new features, so stay tuned. You already know it's Tech Talk. Like, subscribe. I'm out. All right, later.